What's going on guys? Dwayne here with My Investment Journey and I am back again. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my 23rd dividend payment with Amor Residential REIT, ticker symbol ARR. That's what we're talking about in this particular video. But hey, if you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey and on this channel, I talk about how to start investing in the stock market and I show you my investment journey. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so man, my portfolio has been hideous. I will be making another video talking a little bit more about my portfolio and what has occurred in the last year. And then of course, I will be making a uh, video showing all the dividends that I got in the month of December. So of course, that video will be coming out in January so that I can wait to make sure I get all my dividend payments in. But however, in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my 23rd dividend payment with Amor Residential REIT, which happens to be uh, the position that I am the most upside down that's in my portfolio. As far as my loss is concerned, it's not necessarily the most amount of money I've lost, but percentage wise is the biggest percent that I'm currently down. But I'm not invested in Armour Residential REIT because I'm worried about, uh, you know, buying low and selling high. I'm invested in Armour Residential REIT for the dividend payments. And of course, the stock market has been ugly for everybody and just about in every single industry. As a matter of fact, right now, my portfolio is down over $100,000. And as I'm talking about it, of course, that doesn't make me feel good. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna jump into my portfolio. So as you guys can see right here on the screen, today, this is live, my portfolio is up $10,000 today, right? So far, this is live. But the thing is, uh, in the last year, which of course I will be doing a video at some point, but in the last year, you can see my portfolio is down $174,000. Obviously that doesn't feel good. So if I show you guys here back in January of 2022, my portfolio was valued at $321,000. And then of course you can see over here, it was valued at $317,000 and then it went down. And now we're at $130,000. $36,000. But like I said, I will be talking about this in a separate video. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about Amor Residential REIT and my 23rd dividend payment, which I'm very happy about. Uh, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, I am overall very down with this particular investment. So currently at the making of this video, Amor Residential REIT is trading for $5.70. My average cost per, per share is $10.40. Okay. Uh, my total return, which once again, this is the largest chunk that I'm down in any particular company that I'm invested. I'm down 45%, which happens to be negative $6,181.51. So I'm going to scroll down here and show you guys the most recent dividend payment, which um, Robinhood has already taken that money and reinvested. So as you can see here, I got a dividend payment on uh, 13 hours ago, which was December the 28th. And at that particular time, I had 1,293 shares. Armor Residential is paying 10 cents per share, which allowed me to get a total dividend payment of $129.38, which is pretty exciting. Then as you can see right above that here, um, Robinhood went ahead and grabbed some more shares automatically for me. And at that particular time, they were able to grab 22.57 shares and it was costing $5.73 at the time, uh, which is why I got 23, 22 shares uh, because they had reinvested $129.38. Now, once again, right now, Armor Residential is trading for $5.70. Now, if we take a look back on my dividend payments that I've gotten over time, uh, like I did mention, this is my 23rd dividend payment. Uh, and of course, I can show you guys that if I scroll all the way down here, you can see my first payment was back in February of 21. So if we fast forward to February of 2022, that is 13 payments there. Then we have March is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and then my 23rd payment, which is in December. So that's actually pretty exciting. But as you guys can see, the dividend payments have grown, right? So you can see here, there's a big jump from $99 here on July the 29th to $120. The reason why there's that big of a jump is because I just invested more money. 
So I grabbed more shares and that's why you see that there's a big jump. But if we don't look at that particular jump, right? If we go prior to that jump, you can see I have $99, $98, $97, $95. Keep going down. You see basically the, the dividend payments are slowly getting more and more. So all the way back in March of 2021, you see I have a payment of $84 and then $85 and $86 and $86 and 71 cents then $87.47, then $88 and $89. And so as you can see, the dividend payments are growing every single month. And that is really, really exciting because the thing is over time, this dividend payment is gonna continue to grow, right? So basically, let's say, you know, within the last year, my dividend payment grew uh, basically 10 bucks, give or take, we'll just say 10 bucks. But the thing is, okay, so that's one year, right? What about the many years to come? What about 20 years down the road? Today, I just got a dividend payment of $129.38. But what is that going to be in the future? How much more money is that going to be? And so that's kind of why I like to invest in dividend payments is, number one, if I needed the money right now, I can use that and I could do whatever I need to do, pay my cell phone bill, live my life, buy groceries, whatever. Uh, but the thing is, I don't need that today, right? The reason that I'm investing is for tomorrow. So even though I mentioned a little earlier in this video that my portfolio in the last year is down $174,000, obviously that sucks to see and it kills me. Now that's not, uh, I'm not down $174,000 uh, based on the money that I have invested, right? I'm actually down $174,000 based on where I was this time last year, if that makes sense, okay? So that's just food for thought, but I wanted to take the time to share this video with you guys because I love dividend payments and this is one of the easier ways to be successful when it comes to investing in the stock market. When I first got started, I was trying to do day trading, I was trying to do swing trading, I was trying to basically buy low and sell high because of course I'm a genius, it's simple, I got it, right? Uh, I can't tell you how many times the fact that we think, I got it, I'm in control, how that kind of gets you in trouble and that the stock market is no different. So if you're a total new person and you're looking to invest in the stock market, definitely do your research, but you can stick with big companies that you know have withstood the test of time and probably will withstand the test of time. They're not gonna go anywhere. You know, companies like Walmart, companies like Google, uh, well, Google doesn't pay dividends, but Walmart, uh, 3M pays dividends, of course. Uh, you have Procter & Gamble that pays dividends. You have Pfizer. You have so many companies that have been around for a very, very long time that will continue to pay dividends from here all the way till, you know, we're no longer here. Companies like Coca-Cola, companies like Pepsi, you know what I mean? Like those companies, to us, we're like, oh, they're soda companies, right? But Pepsi and Coca-Cola owns more products than just sodas, right? They have water, they have juice, they have different products other than just what uh, the majority of people in the United States would think of, which would be soda. So of course you can kind of start there. There's just so many different ways that you can invest in the stock market and invest for the long haul. You know, uh, Of course, everybody's in love with the instant and the now because we all want stuff now uh, and we want it instantly. However, there is good money to be made in slow money and slow money means long term. All right. Like I said, I wanted to take the time to share with you guys my 23rd, my 23rd investment, my 23rd dividend payment from Armour Residential REIT. That's going to be it for this video. Be sure to stick around and subscribe to the channel. If you have not, give this video a thumbs up as well. It helps the channel tremendously and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Once again, my name is Dwayne with my investment journey and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time. Take care and be blessed. Peace.